Hi. Let's learn about the debt-to-GDP ratio. The debt-to-GDP ratio compares a country's public debt to its gross domestic product. This ratio indicates the country's ability to pay back its debts. It is often expressed as a percentage and can be interpreted as the number of years needed to pay back debt if GDP is entirely dedicated to debt repayment. The debt-to-GDP ratio is calculated by dividing the total debt of a country by its total GDP. A high ratio indicates difficulty in paying off external debts, leading to higher interest rates when borrowing. A higher debt-to-GDP ratio increases the risk of a country defaulting on its debt, which can cause financial panic in domestic and international markets. Governments may struggle to lower their debt-to-GDP ratios, especially during periods of unrest. Countries with debt-to-GDP ratios above 77% for extended periods experience significant economic growth slowdowns. The U.S. has maintained a debt-to-GDP ratio over 77% since 2009, with debt levels increasing sharply during crises such as the subprime housing crisis and the COVID-19 pandemic. The U.S. finances its debt by issuing U.S. Treasuries, considered to be the safest bonds on the market. High debt-to-GDP ratios could indicate increased default risk, leading to global financial repercussions. A high debt-to-GDP ratio is a key indicator of increased default risk for a country, potentially triggering global financial repercussions. Modern monetary theory suggests that sovereign countries don't need to rely on taxes or borrowing for spending since they can print as much as they need, and their policies are not constrained by fears of rising national debt. As of 2022, Japan had the highest general government debt-to-GDP ratio at 261.3%, followed by Greece at 177.4%, and the US at 121.4%. Here are two key takeaways. 1. The debt-to-GDP ratio is the ratio of a country's public debt to its gross domestic product. 2. A higher debt-to-GDP ratio increases the risk of a country defaulting on its debt and causing financial panic in domestic and international markets. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.